Hi guys. Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're doing Rebel Yell, cast strength Rebel Yell. And this is a single barrel and it's 120 proof. And this comes from Inlet Harbor Liquors again. So 120 proof, I don't know why they're doing that. It's probably barrel entry point and they're proofing down to the barrel entry point. Not a big fan of that. I would prefer the single barrel products to be whatever the natural cast strength um, proof is gonna be, especially if you're gonna call them a cast strength whiskey. Not a fan of calling it a cast strength and then making it obvious on the front that you're proofing it down. So, knocks against this and the Ezra Brooks for that, but whatever, Lux Row knows what they're doing, they know how to make money and they know how to put out good whiskey. So, let's see, now this is Rebel Yell. So this is a wheated whiskey. And, um, oh yeah, it smells wheated. Whew. It says wheated, definitely smooth, hand selected and extraordinary, but we proofed it down to 120, so you'll never know. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Lux Row. I can tell it's wheat. It gives me the stingies in my nose, and I'm not confused about this being a weeded whiskey. I get similar notes out of um, my Weller 107. Cherry, fruit forward, hint of vanilla, the fruit is like a fruit compote though. It's like a mix of, like a blend of fruits. I wanna say like mandarin orange, peach. There's a little citrus happening there, like lime zest. There's some like grapey notes. Hints of nuttiness or like peanut butter. And then there's that funky, weedy note there too. It's kind of all over the place. Let's taste. Peppery. A little definitely nutty on the palate. <clears throat> the finish goes into kind of an oaky nuttiness. And there's a bit of a, for me, a little sharp stinginess in the top of the back of my throat in the finish. Some of that fruitiness shows up on the palate. It's a little bit too nutty for me. It, it's almost like Booker's Nutty. And I'm not appreciating that on a weeded whiskey. This one's not one of my favorites. But if you like weeded whiskeys, you might absolutely love this. The nose is really interesting. I like the nose. The palate's where it loses me. The palate is just like rough and fighting and angry. Did I mention angry? Yeah, angry. And and the, just the cohesion on the palate just falls apart and it goes into, into a really proofy, nutty, not my favorite experience on a whiskey. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this one's not my favorite. If you love weeded whiskeys, this might be right up your alley. But for me, this one is not, not something I would buy again. Okay. Whatever. If you love weeded whiskeys, man, this might be for you. But it's uh, not my favorite weeded whiskey that I've had. Thanks for watching, guys. 
until next time, I hope you have a great day. I really do. You know, I mean, it's, what, Wednesday right now while I'm shooting this? And and Wednesday afternoon, and I'm drinking whiskey and hanging out, and that makes it a good day for me. I hope you're having a good day, too. Until next time, have a great day.